Hall, I hope you're very good this morning. So I'm Veronica and I'm part of the new video of Scope International Society. So now I'm going to follow with what we say that every country regarding the testimony in Lebanon, every country in Europe, in, Fra in France, in internationals, in America, everywhere has the state to ensure the country that must be followed. Some council are already to have some information of how to do it. If you wish to have some information regarding that, you just must when you just need to contact the consular of the country then regarding for example for France to Spain or for Spain to France you can contact them and have some information some of the consular actually have some information that are add on the on the on the website so that you may know the the, 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 the step to follow when you entrust the country and um, and before to entrust you can already know it um, and then you can already prepare yourself to do it basically so for example now as I said earlier I've been contacting the assurance minority in France um, by telephone I have this advice from this woman and she gave me the different step to follow um, she gave me, I explained her the situations with the DNPS challenge. I explained the situation with my medical data record and I explained the situation for me to travel. So basically, they already received the letter, a green letter where I actually add all the information or the cover letter green that has been received to 25 search, search in coma that I just doesn't exist. I never have this letter come back in my in home. But the pink letter that I sent with 45 leaves search in coma I came back home with the JCM um, document that missing inside of it and the letter was crushed everywhere. So I complete to consolidate the information of the letter green and the letter pink in one letter green uh, dispatched to 19 Boulevard de Mars with 600,000 in coma. So I expect them to have collect all the data consolidated in one letter green. Now, through my communication with the employees in SAP, I have the information is that they actually received the letter green. So I hope that all the data that has been added to it actually there. Because I request if she can give me the list of the information, she could not give me the list of the information. So I inform her that is was to um, acknowledge my medical data in the UK and also acknowledge the different challenges that have been had with the DMP challenge. Now, um, I'm, and then she gave me the advice of how to process to untrans Spain. In Spain, she said I must um, do a, a certificate payable for untrans in, in Spain, which is my doctor must do for me to untrans the Spain country. And also yesterday, I found out that you can go to the consular on French of Spain and fill a form, which is actually the government of Spain actually give you the SPH form to fill, and you must pay it to entrance the country. This is the um, notice that makes sure that you really definitely have the right to entrance the country. So as I say, every country has um, a notice to to follow to entrance the country. So now um, let me talk about the uh, on the on EasyJet on the information that I collect that must be followed. They say um, you must um, must make sure that you are not have some uh, affections with the RAD team. So it's like a test diagnostic infections that the must be done. You must you must done the COVID ninety CPR for going to Spain and you must go a test diagnostic directions that's calling RDT. And also they say you must have a certificate and the result of RDT, which is the Jackson Seed Infections of uh, infections, must be negative and it must be the RT slash PCR and all the technique molecule for the detections of R and Byron and anything that regarding the T N A R T L A M P seventy two hour before to entrance Spain. So this is this is the the <laughs> medicine um, information. So and um, this is what I must ha do and I must have before to entrance Spain.
following that i must have a certificate document that justify the origin and and it must be um, writing in spain or english in the former it can be a paper or it can be electronic and this document must be um informed and um to the the the, the, the traveler and the, the the traveler must have his, an information of his passport and the date of the test. So it's 72 hours. It can be made by paper or by electronic. So it's important to follow that. Now, um, following these informations, it is very important to acknowledge that um, when you are transparent, for example, at the moment, I'm currently having a radiocolog and I must see the, the kidney kinesthesi uh, for the messages on my leg so i already started some of it in recently so i must do it again next week regarding that so as i travel to spain uh, i'm not sure if i can complete the 12 in france so um, i hopeful hopefully hope that i can complete the 12 in france or if as i'm traveling in in spain i'm wanted to carry on because my leg has to be fixed so um and to do that, the certificate can be used. The certificate that the doctor, the payable certificate, as he said, can be used in Spain so that every information regarding me, every um, pay that I may do, see if the government says it is fine with a card European, because I have a card later, so this is just for France, and there's a card European that can be used and I have all the information. If they say that I have to pay it, I, I provide such certificate to the practitioner's doctor in Spain. Uh, in, in Spain, they actually add all the information on the system. And I see they sh I have the right to have all the help from the government in Spain. And if Spain say no, I have to follow, I have to apply for a, um, an, a document. It's a C300, C331 uh, uh, form that I need to fill. When I come back to France, I have to show that to the CPA in France so that they can refund me the money that I may paid that due to kidney massages in Spain. So this is the current situation. Now, let me talk about the DMP and I plan to see my doctor. I must see the doctor to have the certificate for me to travel. This is very important and also expect the EasyJet to give me the QR code so that I can travel in safe and follow the step that must be established before to travel. If anyone wanted, for example, you wanted to travel in, 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 in Maroc, for example, you must also have followed the step to travel there. And normally, they say on the, on the consular in um, the consular of Maroc, they say um, that people, the, the citizens from France cannot be allowed to travel for now. They're going to give the, the change, the new information on 10 May. So it means today to know the new instructions for the citizen from France to travel. There is also the information regarding the COVID-19 step to follow when you are in trust, which, which step you must follow. For sure, you must do the COVID-19 um, COVID-19 test CTA, that's true. Go to the Consular France, Consular Maroc, and see the instructions that you must follow. This is very important. I say that for the future travel, for those who wanted to travel for Maroc, and for those who want to travel for Spain, for any country in Europe, you can have the information and see what you must do. You can look even in international, you must check the information on the system of the Consular of the country. So that you make sure that you follow the step. For some time, the laboratory are not even capable to give you such information. You must find yourself uh, easy to the company area and tell you what to do. But it's also very important to contact the consular to have the full information so you can read through the website. So now let me speak about DMP challenge that I'm currently challenged with it. And I've been asking to have this DMP. Not just because document has to be inside. The DMP is a document medical share, which is to give the capability to practitioners, professional health to introduce, to add all the data of, of what the patient has. It made in France 
any patients in France, anywhere in France, when you meet, for example, if I decide to go to Paris or I decide to go to Marseille or I decide to go in the south in France, I decide to go to Lille, anywhere in France, you can go to any doctor and I can show to him my data through the DMP, give him the access to my DMP so that he can see what is going on, always be recording. Fortunately, the, the DMP also has the DMP is through the online amelie.fr on the SAP Assurance Maladie. It's, it's a link that already there on the website of Assurance Maladie of France. Now, the, the, in France, we call it Info Connect. The Info Connect, uh, I link it to amelie.fr. I link it to the tax of France, like we call it here Info. For those who work in overseas, you can declare your, your information uh, through the import of the country. You can declare here as a, as a thing for myself, a thing to declare the work that I've done in the UK and those that have been done in France, which is very important. And it's linked to uh, the Amelie.fa. So there is a there is an app for Amelie. When you collect to Info Connect, you can connect straight away to Amelie. In you know, Amelie, you can see your DMP. And Info Connect makes make you add all the, your information history from university, from school, from works, from um from um I would say uh, home, um business, family. There's everything that you can add to the Connect France Info Info Connect. And this Info Connect, you can click on the Info Connect and go straight away to Amelie account and see your information or connect to Info and see your information and so all these data can transfer into your your data um, or Amelie and you have all the data regarding your information so you're always controlling your information and it's for Europe and it's for international it's not just for French people but those who live here Europe French international can have such information when you live in France you have the account of Amelie the time that you are uh, a citizen in the country basically so this is so far the, the key point that I want to talk about now I've been challenged with the pharmacy Um, you know the the, the, the list of uh, the medicine that you purchase because the prescriptions when you go to see your practitioners your practitioners make sure that you have a list of it give you the medicine to have that you must take and take so when you give you the prescriptions because I use the card as the card uh, vital, the green card vital. Um, if you look my testimony in the back, where I wear a orange uh, T-shirt, it is it, a green card, and it add on the system which prescriptions of, of medicine that you going to take and undertake. So you can go to the pharmacy and say, it, I want this. This is the prescriptions that the doctor gave. You just give it to the pharmacy, and then she give you the the, the medicine. You can have the medicine.